Today I'm on the west side of Chicago and I got a two unit property in store for you. Let's check this one out. I'm in the North Lawndale neighborhood, about to check out this two unit property. It's supposed to be real nice on the inside, so let's see what's going on and of course, how much does it cost? To start, it has a nice security fence with the uh, looks like doorbells on the mailboxes, so that's pretty convenient. And it looks like some fresh new concrete in the front too. All right, let's see what's let's see what's going on in there. Let's check out unit number one on the first floor. So far, so good. Floors look good. Windows look newer. Let's make sure. Get these paper blinds out of the way. Yeah, the windows are pretty good. We got vinyl windows. We got this random opening over here. It's not a bedroom or anything. It even has closet space. I don't know what you would call this little uh, nook, but it's here. There you have it. Pretty open concept. Living room, dining room combo. Let's check out bedroom number one. It's an okay size. And we got the closet. Nice little closet. Then we've got the kitchen area not too bad cabinets new countertops they went with this uh i don't know reddish black let me know what you think of these countertops and you also got the uh the countertop microwave to go along with the above the range microwave so whichever one you want we got that for you here Let's head back. Okay, this must be, see if we can get some light in this hallway, okay. This looks like the bathroom. Nice and bright. Everything looks good in here. You got your, your fancy vanity sink. And let's go back here. This looks like bedroom number two. It's pretty small. These are some, some skinny bedrooms. And with this skinny little closet, oh, it's actually bigger than you think. You can actually walk inside, as I just did. But still a pretty tiny bedroom. And then you've got Oh, that's not a bedroom. That is the basement. Yeah, well, since I'm here now, I guess I might as well check out the basement, see what's going on down there. You know, it's nice and dark. Oh, thank God for the light. But this first unit is duplex down and everything looks finished. Now, the first thing we have to do is find the light so we can see better. Here we go. That'll be good enough for now. But a nice open space down here. And then we got a bedroom. This is probably the biggest bedroom we've seen so far. We've got the closet. Let's check that out. It's very well finished down here. I don't see any signs of water issues. Ceiling height's pretty good. This is a this is a nice finished basement. Let's see what we got in here. More closet space. And it looks like the utilities are over here, so let's check this out. You got your water heater, you got your furnace. Everything looks good and clean. Let's see. Now, what is back here? Is this a bathroom? And voila. Got your nice shower. 
This uh, vanity isn't as fancy as the one upstairs, but I guess it'll do. Make do with what we got, right? Now, what's behind this door? This, okay. More storage. Definitely dark back here. Okay, we got laundry room. Looks like this is a shared laundry and this is most likely the water heater for the second floor. Actually, that would make sense because you can close this door and then I imagine if someone from the second floor wants to do laundry, they probably have to come in from outside, come around, and they can come through here and have access to their laundry. Unless, of course, we get lucky and we get laundry on the second floor, but we'll see when we get up here. But since we're here, let's check out the backyard. Nice new concrete. Got the two-car garage. So if you're one of those people who does not like dealing with the lawn and doesn't want to cut grass, this might be the place for you. So for the first unit, it's actually duplex down to the basement. Both units are very nice. Now the bedrooms on the first floor, I will admit, are pretty small, but there is more room down here in the basement, and the room in the basement is actually a lot bigger. It's a decent size. Now let's check out that second floor to see what's going on. Let me know what you think about this property so far, and of course, if you're looking to buy in the Chicago area, feel free to reach out to me, and I'd be happy to email you a list of properties for sale. Looks like they still have some cabinets in here, but let's bypass that. See what's on the second floor. And what's going on up here? All right, so everything's nicely finished up here. Got a small living room area. It's enough to fit a Good size couch though. Now let's head back here. We got some closet space, some storage. Let's check out this bedroom. Not bad, I'd say it's about not quite 10 by 10, maybe 9 by 9. Let's check out the closet. Small closet for you. And while we're here, we got more storage. Some of these uh, storage areas are bigger than the closets. Then we've got the bathroom. Everything looks good in here as well. And last but not least, the kitchen area. Pretty much the same design, or the same cabinets and countertops, I should say. Everything nice and fresh in here. And we've got bedroom number two. The bedrooms on the second floor are definitely a little bit bigger. And of course, the knob for these doors comes off. It's always something wrong with these sliding closet doors, I swear. See if there's anything back here. Well, we get a, a nice shot of the garage. Roof looks good on it. And we have the back entry. Okay, we have the furnace up here. So this is for the second floor. So the utilities are separate, which is good. And the thing that makes this a legal two unit is actually in two entrances. There's a front entrance and the back entrance. And this is the staircase. Everything looks nice and solid up here. Not too bad. So I know some of you probably thought that this looks like a single family home and that the unit on the second floor wouldn't be a legal one. However, this is a legitimate two unit building. This second floor is illegal. It has two entrances. So as far as that's concerned, we're good to go.
actually the space isn't that bad up here normally when a property looks like a single family unit but really has two units that second floor unit is smaller this one isn't the biggest in the world but there's still plenty of space and once again i would say this is a legitimate two unit all right, so for this property on Chicago's west side in the North Lawndale neighborhood, it's a two unit property. The first unit is duplex down into the basement with three total bedrooms. The second unit has two bedrooms. How much is this property selling for? Currently, this property is listed at 450,000. Let me know if you have any questions about this property. And once again, if you're looking to buy or sell in the Chicagoland area, feel free to reach out to me.